Ah, uh, sorry, sir. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. You wanted to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene. is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Oh, uh, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive? Correct. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death? Blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. Too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Not yet, sir. Wow, I, I never thought a great detective like you would ask. It's Kagami, sir. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. You were just acquaintances. Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work from the case six years ago. The case six years ago? It's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Are you serious? You're special agent, you're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? 
Date. Use me to see through the column. Utilize the X. It appears as though someone is inside. Hey, wait! Shut up! Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something! It, won't it may be locked from the inside. Damn it! Hey, whoever's in there, stay back! Izuki! What is this place? This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. And you are? Where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. All right, then. Who are you? I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan! Activate! Hmm. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest resources of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, 
a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Well, I suppose that is true, but... All right, let's do this. A door locked with a padlock. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Hmm, I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium, a reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks. Or Indeed. But it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnium. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. A winter iris. What? Do you not recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. Hey, I didn't know you could smell. I can't. I'm pantomiming. Isn't it easier to visualize this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Ah! Amazing suction! Bravo! Mar what are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep... Something like that. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. A 
glass of wine. A luxurious red wine, popular on the market today. However, this appears to be a much brighter red than a typical bottle. Maybe it's a full-bodied red from Bourgogne. I wonder if that trivia will ever prove useful. Better to be prepared. A glass of wine. Leave it to me. Hey! <sighs> I feel kind of good. Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> to Date diss me all the time. Ah, oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. A skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. To the skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Iba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Hey, don't ignore me, stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony! Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. A skeleton. Cannot see inside it. A model of a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, and a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than a cult. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. The tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. A lamp. It... But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory. But... Somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have... Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness. But oftentimes, they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. That was kind of dirty. Shut up. A skeleton. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead. They should. A lamp. It looks... You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you a thug? A skeleton. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hi. Yeah. What? I have a look. A 
the wall. Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. house this house has a skeleton in it anything can happen i hear it's common in the kyushu area in fact it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators who did you hear that from a gun it won't go off that should be fine Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. A door locked with a padlock. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. I suppose. I see. The gun was the key. Well, well, well. It seems I was key in helping us escape. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. I'll open it. Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you.
Do you think it's true that a tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. Hmm. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? <laughs> I used to be a flag girl for RC car racing in my glory days. You ever wonder why we call all our pumpkins Jack? <laughs> what if that pumpkin's name was Bill? <laughs> Sorry, it was funnier in my head. you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been at a crime scene, and I got a little carried away, and... Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? I shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. Who do you think I am, Date? Uh, you're my boss? Commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, huh. so... Nothing to report that. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No, she just lives with me. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. That's been here a while. I mean, Christmas comes every year, right? It's a pain taking that thing down and putting it up again. familiar with the murder case at the resort called Spur? Why do you have this? 
So if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. That's my grandpa's death mask. The guy had a huge face. Reminds me of you, boss. You have many faces, one inside the other. No matter how deep you go, you'll never get to the real you. Matryoshkas eventually end, though. You get to the last one. Smallest one, like a child. That's the real me. Like it? It reminds me of you, Date. I can't. I love it. Smooth and dark. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions. Where do you think you are, Agent? Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. It's suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? when we found a Mizuki's hand. We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. That's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami Shoko, 36 years old. 
Female, Residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so-called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name, Nadami. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. You should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. Payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer. Hello? No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea, though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. I've been thinking a lot lately about myself. If I have another mind inside me, am I really me? Oh, it reminds me of something Arthur Rambeau once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. You are a handsome looking man. Oh, no, stop it. Are you okay, Date? Perhaps it's time for his medication. Hello, me. Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Yeah, just a little trivia for you. I'm full of useful information. Hey, so, about my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. Hey, what does love mean to you? Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. <laughs> Let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? I'm right, aren't you, dork? That hurts, you know.
I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence, birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your... Can you explain what's funny about it? Okay, what's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute. 